Well, breaking news. They they destroyed everything. They took What am I talking about? I'm talking about Spider-Man. They took Spider-Man from us. What well, the one one good thing that we had. Captain Marvel? What? The? We don't want Captain Marvel. They t Sony. Sony Pictures took Spider-Man from us. Today, breaking news. They couldn't come to an agreement with Disney and now Spider-Man is out of the MCU. <laughs> I haven't been this mad in a long time. In a long time. So what now, Sony? Iron Man died for nothing. Did you guys not watch Far From Home? You guys still... You guys still had rights to that, right? In the beginning of the movie, it still says Sony, right? The whole movie is built up. Spoiler alert, first of all. The whole movie is built upon uh, Spider-Man taking over Iron Man, being the next Iron Man, right? Well, looks like that's not going to happen. I guess uh, Iron Man just uh, saved the whole universe and died for nothing. I missed the part where that's my problem. Happy Hogan was just about to... The lucky guy. He is not so lucky anymore. Because Aunt May's gone too. Sony, you, you didn't just take Peter Parker from us. It's still at me. Five years from now, this could be an announcement. The Ultimate Spider-Man coming to theaters this July. And then we go, you know, we get the, not the, not the medium-sized popcorn, but the large popcorn. Maybe the large IC. Maybe we have a little bit more money to spend. And uh, we walk into the theater. First thing we see, another Uncle Ben shot. Stay back. Stay back. How many more Uncle Bens are you guys going to kill? But what I can't wrap my head around is... Endgame and Far From Home does, just don't make sense anymore. The whole reason why Tony Stark even went back and t did the time heist is because of Peter Parker. There's that whole scene where he's just like looking at the picture just like... I forgot, I totally forgot about that kid. But then uh, he, wa he wanted to re redeem his uh, young protege or Tony Stark did that for Peter Parker. And the whole universe too, but I guess... And then he died. And then, then it goes on to Far From Home, where they say, are you the next Iron Man? And basically the whole plot of the movie is him becoming that big of a hero. Are we ever gonna see a Sinister Six in a Spider-Man movie? You know, we're so close. We were setting it up, there's the Vulture, there was uh, the Scorpion, and now there was Mysterio, who is allegedly not dead. Oh, spoiler alert again, maybe not dead. They're were, they were setting it up for the Sinister Six. Everybody, everybody that's a fan of Marvel and Spider-Man know that. But now, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Maybe it can happen? Actually, it can't happen because those are... I don't know if it can happen, actually. If it can happen, then maybe I'll give you my money. But still, you ruined the whole MCU timeline. And I think, the way I'm thinking of it, you ruined it. All right, let's 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 just take a minute and calm down. Maybe a reboot wouldn't be all that bad, although it is just the fourth time and everything. But I mean, they're looking for new actors soon, right? I wonder who they could uh, have replace as Spider-Man. Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys know? This is crooked. Oh. I'd make a good Spider-Man. According to social media, which we know we can obviously trust, uh, Spider-Man still has two movies, but with Sony. I just don't know how things are going in the MCU end, and I'm kind of pissed off about that, honestly. I, you don't understand how pissed off I am. One final opinion, one last thing to say, and it's to you, Sony. It's one last thing to say. Three thousand.